from Florida and ready and raring to go with some more Football Manager 2018 content. The only problem is, I forgot what happened in the last episode. That's the beauty of pre-recording. It was only two days ago for you guys, about three weeks ago for me. Who knows what happened? Hey guys, welcome to Small Football Manager 2018 and part 9 of Hammers Unite. And in today's episode, we are playing Leicester City and Derby County. One in the Premier League, one in the FA Cup. So, since the last episode, I believe we played Arsenal in the last episode. And we may well have played West Brom as well. I, I can't really remember, to be perfectly honest with you. But uh, I'll go through these matches, as you can see, form up and down. Uh, we lost 2-0 to Liverpool in the league. We then lost, uh, drew 0-0 with Liverpool in the FA Cup. Um, this feels rather familiar, I don't know why. We then drew with Southampton, 1-1. We then uh, drew with Fulham, 2-2. We then went on and, and beat Crystal Palace 4-3. It was an amazing match, this one. I do remember this uh, game. Um, and th there was a lot of goals in it. We won 4-3 away from home. Really good result. We then beat Liverpool in the replay of the FA Cup on penalties. Uh, and then lost 3-2 uh, to Watford and won 3-2 against Newcastle. Was that in the last episode? Hmm. I'm very confused right now. To say the least, I think this is right. But if Watford and Newcastle were in the last episode, I apologise. Anyway, um, this all means that we're we're ninth in the Premier League at the moment. Uh, on forty three points after thirty games, we've got eight games to go. We've still got a, a, a fair shout at sixth place, you would say, um, depending on how we do in our running. Um, Man United run away with the title at the moment. It'll be interesting to see if they can turn around their form this season um, and do that. I very much doubt it, uh, but who knows, who knows. Uh, let's have a look at the team for today then. We've got Fabian Skingo, we've got Zabaleta, Balbuena, Reed, and Masaku in defence. We've then got Wilshire and Mario in the midfield with Yarmolenko, Horta and Anderson behind Javier Hernandez up top. So let's get straight into the match. Hopefully you guys are good and we'll have a decision to make after tomorrow's episode because uh, we'll probably be ending the season in tomorrow's episode. I'm not entirely sure, actually. It all depends what happens in the FA Cup matches. Um, but the decision will be whether we keep this as a one-season save or, you know, we move on to something different, have a look at another team using the update. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments um, what, you, what you like. I know a few of you uh, are not quite into the series um, as much as you, you might have been the, the journeyman. Um, or and some people are really enjoying it so please let me know your thoughts and opinions positive and negative down below in the comments here's Mario now to read to Wilshire Wilshire on the ball get it wide son come on gets it wide to Masaku now to Anderson Anderson Horta who puts it in the back of the net and it's 1-0 Andre Horta with the goal the assist by Felipe Anderson there um, really nicely worked goal, it has to be said, and, and, and this would be a good victory today against a, a Leicester City side who won the league a couple of years ago. So, yeah, really, really happy with that. They are very much struggling this year, though. They could go down, um, which would be a big shame, you know, for the likes of Vardy and Albrighton, I guess. Here's Zabaleta. Zabaleta Yarmolenko now to Horta. Horta on the ball gets it forward, but uh, it's cut out well. Here's Felipe Anderson. Now to Chicharito. Forward to Horta. Can he get threaded through? Horta into the middle. It's away. Here's Wilshire. Now to Mario. Mario on the ball. Forward to Hernandez. Hernandez to Yarmolenko, who scores. It's 2 0. Another well worked goal there. And a good finish from uh, Yarmolenko. I do know that Mario doesn't play for West Ham in real life he's not on loan anymore but um that's absolutely fine you know uh, there, there are a couple of errors in this version of the the database but uh that's just the way it goes you know at the end of the day so yeah coming up to half time it is 
2-0. Very, very happy with that first half performance. Um, you know, a couple of uh, assists for the guys who you'd maybe expect to be scoring the goals and uh, a couple of goals for the, the guys who you'd maybe think would be uh, the ones setting them up. But, you know, it's, it, it's, a, it's a turn of form. But, uh, no, we're playing some really, really nice football at the moment. Here's Anderson, now Masaku. Well, it's it's unfortunate that West Ham haven't got off to quite um, a, a, quite the start that maybe the talent deserves. But uh, I'm sure Pellegrini will gel the squad throughout the season and, and West Ham will be absolutely fine. And I think West Ham fans would take a top 10 finish this year, most definitely. It's going to be very, very difficult to break that top six, so... Yeah, um, yeah. let's have a look. So, I've got a couple of yellow cards uh, lingering. I think we'll take the centre-back off. Uh, we'll take Mario off as well, and we'll stick on Obiang in the middle. I think that should be all right. But, yeah, I mean, I mean, we're in control at the moment, which is wonderful. Yarmolenko into the middle. Here's Wilshire. Wilshire now to Obi Obiang. Porter, oh, it's away. Schmeichel gets it away now to Reed. Reed to Zabaleta. Zabaleta boots it forward to Yarmolenko. Now Horter. Horter forward to Chicharito. This is a chance. Hernandez to Yarmolenko off the post. That was a big chance for 3-0 there. And just to put the cherry on top of the ice in there. But still 2-0. Still looking very good. Zabaleta, now Wilshire. Horter loses it. Here's Reed. Wilshire. Now Obiang. Mmm, it's away. Fabianski's going to come out and collect. Still got seven minutes to go here. We don't want to concede at this late stage. A clean sheet would be amazing. Here's Wilshire. Now Obiang to Horter. Poor. Here's Slimani now. Slimani to Fuchs. Fuchs to Gray. Hamez. Oh, it's probably Matty James, isn't it? Hamez. Uh, I think that was in the journeyman for a second there, but uh, no, it is Matty James. Or oh, Matty Hamez, as we'll call him now. Here's Slimani, James, Morgan, and that is full time 2 0. Really good performance, you'd have to say. Uh, going forward, we looked like we, we meant business, and that starts off our running really, really well. And now, can we continue our FA Cup run against Frank Lampard's Derby County? Well, it's not often I do this, but youth intake day, and a first time in a while that I've had this comment, Sam Sabaton looks as if he'll possibly emerge as one of the best players of his generation. Now, that is a pretty rare comment um, to, to have, and he's already got some really, really good stats in there, what's his determination, 14, so he should theoretically get pretty close to his potential, which is five stars, uh, obviously one of them is blacked out, but four star at least, which is really, really good um, indeed, and he, he looks pretty good, he's an attacking midfielder, um, and, and I'm sure he's going to turn into a, a little bit of a superstar, to be honest with you. He's, he's known as promising right now. We're going to put him as a as a, as a hot prospect. Um, I think he deserves that. And, and we'll offer him the contract straight away. And, uh, yeah, a, a rare look at the um, sort of youth intake of my sides. I don't usually do that because they're usually pants. Just one change for the derby match then. We've brought in Yaya Toure, uh, who's back from injury instead of João Mario. I think Toure deserves the chance. He's had a wonderful season. He scored six goals. I think this is the perfect opportunity to bring him back um, in this FA Cup match. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Facing off against Frank Lampard. Um, you know, it's, it's not every day um, you meet uh, a guy that you had... Um, on the back of a football shirt not so long ago. Uh, 2006 World Cup I had Lampard on the on my back. So, yeah, a, a good moment to meet him uh, in this game. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure Derby... I mean, they've got some really good players in there. Huddleston is, is obviously a really good player. Joe Ledley, um, George Thorne as well. Cameron Jerome is good at that level. So... 
uh, Dobby could be in for a good season this year. He has Felipe Anderson forward. Uh, Chicharito gets a forward. Yarmolenko and he hits the post. What an episode he has had so far. Hopefully he can get a couple of goals in this game. Uh, just to put the icing on the cake. Here's Wilshire. Wilshire again. Can he get wide? He can. Here's Anderson now. Anderson into the middle. Yarmolenko hits the post for a second time in the first 20 minutes. Looks like it's maybe not going to be his day. Here's Masaku. Now to Wilshire. Wilshire to Horta. We are pressing high. And, oh, I mean, how has Yarmolenko missed three clear cut chances this early on? Scott Carson gets it away. Reed with the header. Here's Heffley. Now to Jerome. Jerome to Ledley now. Ledley forward to Lawrence to Jerome. Jerome forward to Lawrence. Come on, get the tackle in. Thorne. Thorne again. Reed gets it away to Anderson now. Anderson to Wilshire to Horta to Toure. Now Yarmolenko. This is good play. Yarmolenko gets it forward to Horta. Now Wilshire. Wide to Anderson. Wilshire. Toure. Come on, Wilshire. Gets it forward to Hernandez. Oh, that was a chance. Horta puts it in. He gets his second goal of the episode. And Javier Hernandez, unlucky not to score with his chance. But uh, some really nice football. And we're pushing so high up the pitch. Putting so much pressure on Derby. Hernandez, unlucky not to score. But he passes it to Horta. And Horta smashes it into the back of the net. Signing of the season is Andre Horta. Absolutely fabulous to have him back on FM18 after our um, fairly brief encounter at Stoke. Here's Horta now. Anderson. Toure. Toure to Yarmolenko. And he's missed again. It's a shame because now he's on a 6.4 simply because he's missed all these chances. But uh, he, he's getting himself in the right positions and just a little bit unlucky in the end. But I think he is going to come off. We are going to put on um, Antonio I think instead. Antonio usually does a, a very good job out wide and at the end of the day he's quite unlucky not to be starting anyway um i think yarmolenko's just had a wonderful season so yeah hopefully uh antonio can finish this time uh if he gets the same sort of opportunities but 50 minutes in we're only one nil up so we need to be a little bit careful here we'd rather not have a replay when you know we really don't need one um, we, we can get a couple of chances and finish off this match so let's do it here's Lawrence now Ledley Derby pushing forward just as I'm saying finish them off and they score Cameron Jerome with the goal we have another 6.4 on the on the field in Felipe Anderson so he's going to come off as well we might swap Horta um, and Lanzini around Yes, I think that I think that's what we're gonna do. I think Horta can do a better job out wide, and hopefully Lanzini can do a job in behind the striker. But it would be frustrating if we didn't win this game now. Sixty minutes gone. Mm. It's annoying because we've had so many chances, we just haven't took them. Uh, um. 80 minutes gone. I guess uh, Toure comes off now for João Mario. We'll swap him and, and Wilshire around. We've only got 10 minutes left. This is annoying. We're going to have to go through a replay now. Here's Carson. Gets it away. Horta. Chance to get forward. Hernandez. Now Lanzini. That was disappointing. Now here's Mount. Ledley. I mean, we might not even get the chance to have a replay. They might go and get the winner here. Mount. Reed gets it. Here's Horta. Come on. Horta to Lanzini. But again, just a little bit disappointing. Zabaleta forward to Hernandez. Oh, what a chance to win the game. Straight at the keeper. Either side and we're, we're through. Wilshire. Now Lanzini. Oh, it's over the bar. It's just not our day today, is it? Four minutes at a time. And there it is, full time. Derby have earned a replay and probably go favourites in the return match. But that is where we're going to leave this episode. A decent start to it. A good 2-0 victory against Leicester. 
slightly more disappointing in that second game. Although we did play it well, we just it didn't finish, and that is, you know, the only way you're you're gonna win a ga- win games is if you score goals. So little bit annoying on that front but if you have enjoyed that then make sure you do leave a like down below remember let us know down in the comments do you want to see this as a one season challenge maybe we can do a few of these uh, up until fm19 please let me know subscribe if you would like to see more and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye